now we are uh, starting with the combustion as you know that combustion is burning of any substance particularly the fuels or can be other than fuels also so burning of any substance is called as combustion so that means when we are burning anything that means we are carrying out the combustion three conditions are required uh, in, uh, like when we carry out combustion three conditions are mandatory one is the combustible substance one is the combustible substance second is the ignition temperature and third is the uh, this thing uh, the supporter of combustion that is the oxygen gas so that means whenever you need to carry out combustion that means whenever you need to uh, burn anything you need to have three things one the substance should be combustible that it should catch fire easily because we do come across in combustible substances also in combustible substances are those which do not burn do not get burnt so the substance should be combustible that it should get uh, burnt it should get burnt easily right and moreover uh, the, it should have proper ignition temperature ignition temperature is temperature at which substance catches fire so that means the proper ignition temperature should be reached and you know that the substance should neither have too low or too high ignition temperature other than that it should have a moderate ignition temperature because if it if the substance will have low ignition temperature then it will obviously be, create a problem in catching a fire because it will catch fire very late and if it will have a sorry if it will uh, have the low ignition temperature then it will catch fire very easily but if it has a high ignition temperature that means it will catch fire very late so we need a substance which should have moderate that means neither fast neither slow it should catch fire at a moderate rate so that means proper ignition temperature should be reached whenever we are burning anything third we want a supporter of combustion that is the oxygen gas we know that a gas that support combustion is an oxygen gas so there should be a supporter of combustion present so these three things are required in the combustion now we encounter different types of combustions we have rapid combustion we have spontaneous combustion we have slow combustion we have explosive combustion just depending upon that at what rate actually the combustion is taking place first is the rapid as the name suggests you know rapid means very fast so in which the combustion occur at very fast rate such that a large amount of heat and light is produced in a short time for example suppose you burn a match stick and you just bring it near the candle then it burns rapidly that means it catches fire very soon and lot of heat and light is uh, produced uh, in a short span second is spontaneous spontaneous is, is the one in which uh, the first uh, initial initiation is required but once the you know you can say that combustion starts it uh, it goes on carrying uh, means it uh, goes on occurring at at itself no uh, external source is required like uh, suppose white phosphorus you know that white phosphorus phosphorus ignition temperature is very low in summer it actually catches fire at room temperature because uh, at uh, in summers at room temperature normally its ignition temperature is reached so once the initiation initiation is required and then further initiation is not required the combustion take place by itself so when combustion start uh, started doesn't require any external further external source then it is called as spontaneous for example i told you burning of white phosphorus and it easily occur at room temperature in summers next is the slow as the name suggests that means combustion is occurring at very slow rate and that slow is approximately a moderate rate neither too fast neither too slow it is occurring at moderate rate and in this slow combustion you know that some of the fuel remains unburnt that means fuel doesn't get completely burnt some of the amount of fuel remains unburnt like you are burning coal for example you are burning coal in that the combustion is actually occurring at a moderate rate and some of the coal is just left behind un, uh, left unburnt last is the explosive as the name suggests that means uh, uh, this thing combustion is taking place at very faster rate and tremendous heat and light is produced for example when you are firing a cracker so whenever you light a cracker that leads to an explosion right so that is a explosive combustion so this is all about the combustion the conditions and the types 
Moreover, there are lot of harmful effects uh, which we encounter during combustion. First, we are going to discuss the smoke. As you all know that whenever we burn something, we get smoke out of it, right? There is a lot of smoke, smoke that comes out. And you know that the smoke, what, what harmful effect that can a smoke have? We can, if we inhale smoke, it will cause a respiratory disorder, right? So that means like asthma and all. So that means smoke is a, you can say the harmful after effect of the uh, combustion. Second is carbon monoxide. Whenever you are burning anything, you get uh, carbon dioxide, right? But whenever you burn anything in insufficient supply of oxygen, then instead of CO2, you get CO. And you know that CO is a poisonous gas, that is carbon monoxide. And if you inhale, inhale that carbon monoxide, it can cause respiratory disorders. It actually causes suffocation inside you. And due to that suffocation, it can even cause death also. So CO is a poisonous and a fatal gas. So that is again a harmful effect uh, after effect of the combustion. Third is carbon dioxide. As I told you that whenever we are burning anything, we are getting carbon dioxide. So when excess combustion is carried out, then excess amount of CO2 is produced and CO2 is a greenhouse gas. That means it can cause global warming, which can actually lead to an ecological imbalance. So again, it's a harmful gas. We use unleaded petrols and all uh, in the vehicles. So what happened whenever you use an unleaded uh, this thing, un, uh, sorry, you, when you use a leaded petrol or something, so there is a lead which comes out in the air. Again, it leads to a respiratory disorders. Fossil fuels. When you burn fossil fuels, then obviously there are certain oxides which get liberated like NO2, SO2. And you know that these oxides are the major cause of acid rain. This we have already discussed in the pollution chapter also that they are, uh, they are cause of the acid rain. And you know that acid rain is harmful as it can uh, the, uh, destroy the crops also and it can uh, cause a monument cancer also. So that means a lot of things are involved in this case also. Last is smoke. When lot of combustion is carried out, there exists a smoke obviously in the atmosphere which combines with the fog and leads to a smog. And you know that what is smog? Smog is a, you can say that in metro cities where you see that the clouds, uh, the sky is not clear, the atmosphere is, uh, is not clear. You always find that something is in the air and that is a smoke because it reduces the visibility and you have a lot of problems in uh, seeing the objects and moreover you don't feel like that the environment is clean. Right. So that again, a harmful after a harmful effect of this is smog also. Now, how we can improve the techniques of combustion? First, we can use good quality of fuels, which get burned easily, which burn smoothly, which uh, you can say produce a lot of heat, which uh, the unburned, uh, which do not produce any harmful gas, harmful poisonous gas. So this we can do by using a good quality fuel. Second, Instead of using a fuel, we can use a renewable source which are eco-friendly like we can utilize the wind energy, we can use, utilize the sun energy because they all do not cause such kind of harmful effects. We can use scrubber, filters, precipitators, they can actually uh, irradiate this uh, harmful gases, they can actually absorb this harmful gases and can make the atmosphere clear. And we can also use chimneys. Because the, by the use of chimneys, what happened, all the harmful gases which are liberated at the low level can be liberated uh, because the chimneys will be tall, so they will be liberating these gases in the upper atmosphere. So we won't get, get that air to, we'll, we won't inhale that air and if we will not inhale, obviously we'll, uh, we can get rid of the respiratory problems also. So we can do all these, we can actually take uh, into consideration these improved methods of combustion, that is the good quality of fuels, we can stress more on renewable source, we can use scrubber filters, precipitators and moreover tall chimneys can be used. So this is all about the combustion, I think you got it, that combustion is a burning of any substance, particularly the fuels and three conditions which are required types depending upon the rate how the uh, substance is catching fire and harmful effects we have already discussed and we do have discussed these effects in the uh, air pollution also and these are the improved methods which you can take into uh, use when you are carrying out the combustion.